Welcome back friends, it's Anders. Today we are making bourbon sweet tea. This is a recipe that's fun, easy going. It's gonna be perfect for hanging out with your friends, sitting on the porch, enjoying the summer. There's big flavors of bourbon, tea, obviously, uh, peach, and then uh, we're gonna toss in a little Amaro because why not? If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes, and let's go make bourbon sweet tea to the bar. Today's video is brought to you by Original Grain. They make watches and accessories from reclaimed wood and other unique materials. Original Grain has partnered with brands like Taylor Guitars, Indian Motorcycles, Toyota TRD, and even Buffalo Trace Bourbon, like this watch I'm wearing right here. I love this watch because it looks like a bottle of Buffalo Trace Bourbon, minus the bourbon inside. It has that nice dark green color, brings out my eyes. My eyes are kind of gray, but it looks good with my eyes. And if you like whiskey, they have a whole collection of whiskey barrel watches. I personally have two. This is the Whiskey Espresso watch. Also, super versatile, makes you on time, but if you are not into whiskey, that's okay because they also make watches from reclaimed beer barrels, reclaimed tequila barrels, depending on what resonates with you. Or perhaps your dad, because Father's Day is right around the corner. And Original Grain is running a Father's Day special, 20% off select styles. Plus, if you use the code Anders at checkout, you get an additional 10% off for a grand total of... 30% off. You are ready for Father's Day or you are ready to have your own watch and start being on time for once. Once you're done with this video, head on over to originalgrain.com slash Anders. Use the code Anders. That's A-N-D-E-R-S. Looks like Anders, but it's Anders. 30% off select styles. Thank you, Original Grain. Onto the film. All right, the bourbon sweet tea. This cocktail has zero sweet tea in it. If you're not familiar, sweet tea is a big deal in the American South. And my understanding is that to make it, you start with hot tea, you add lots and lots of sugar, and then you serve it chilled. I'm not doing that. I am keeping the tea and the sugar separate so that I can balance it the way that I like. However, that's not to say you can't use real sweet tea in this recipe. In fact, if you do, let me know in the comments down below. I, not much to say history here. I came up with this recipe about a week ago, so let's jump right into it. For this recipe, we will need bourbon, amaro, peach liqueur, lemon juice, simple syrup, and black tea. The bourbon I'm using is a higher proof bourbon because there are a lot of other components here and we're gonna add a good amount of tea so that dilutes the drink. So I want that bourbon flavor to come through. Another good option for a bourbon would be a high rye bourbon. This one, Old Granddad, happens to be both. This is a higher proof high rye bourbon. So it's perfect for this drink, but you know, pick a good bourbon, one that you like. On to the Amaro. This is my secret ingredient. It is not from the American South or of any flavor that's like the American South, but it's a yummy Italian flavor. I am specifically using Amaro Nonino, which is a very light Amaro. I really do like the Amaro Nonino in this recipe. Number one, there aren't many cocktails that call for this Amaro. Uh, paper Plane is the most popular one. So if you're a big fan of the Paper Plane, you might have a bottle of this at home and you're probably thinking, what else can I use this for? And it works really well with the peach. Now the peach liqueur, number one, it's gonna give it a little bit of sweetness. We do want that sweetness for the sweet tea, but also peach is a great Southern flavor that goes really well with bourbon. Lemon juice, freshly squeezed. This is going to help brighten up the drink. And then the simple syrup. This is semi-rich, one and a half parts sugar to one part water. It's gonna add sweetness, obviously, but also a little bit of texture. And then the tea. This is black tea. I would recommend that you make this ahead of time and let it chill. Boom, boom, boom. What else do I wanna say? As always, they're available in my collection at Curiata. All right, let's build. Okay, we're gonna shake this up. I'm gonna be serving this in a mason jar. Seemed appropriate, but you can serve it in whatever glass you want. If you wanna get this chilled, go right ahead. I'm not chilling it because I don't have room in my freezer. Into the shaking tin, let's start with the base, the bourbon. One and a half ounces of bourbon. To that, we will add one ounce of the Amaro Nonino. It sounds like a, a good amount of Amaro, but the flavor is actually pretty soft and it's gonna be an accent along with the peach, which we will do next. So half an ounce of the peach liqueur, if you end up getting the liqueur on the bottle, clean it up right away or it becomes a sticky mess. There we are, on to the simple syrup. I'm gonna do half an ounce of the simple syrup, half an ounce of the fresh lemon juice, and then four ounces of your chilled black tea. This probably wasn't the smartest idea because I don't know how well it's gonna pour, but a little sloppy. That's okay. Clean up an aisle, Anders. Shake this up with ice. Not for very long. We just want to add a little bit of air, combine all the ingredients. We're not looking to overly dilute it. Right now, there is a lot of liquid in this shaking tin. So carefully 
add ice and shake. About five or six seconds. Now, add some ice to your, your glass, your mason jar, whatever you're using. I'm gonna double strain this to catch all the ice chips, but it's not necessary. If you want those ice chips in there, go right ahead and single strain. But today, double strain, because we are posh. You get that nice foam on top. Uh, for garnish, I'm gonna do a sprig of mint. I just go right over to my garden here and grab my fresh mint. Wake your mint up. Smells really good. Drop it right in there, all pretty-like. There we have the bourbon sweet tea. Cheers. Oz coming over. Okay. Bourbon oh, sweet tea. Oh, man. What up, fam? Hey, great hat. Thank you. Yeah. Here we go. This is a much needed drink, by the way. Today's been a odd day. Mm. How is it? Oh. <coughs> Wrong too. Mm. It's really good. <laughs> Let me give it a shot. Mm. It's peachy good. Yeah, and I will say, this does work without the Amaro but I do like it better with a little bit of the Amaro. Really subtle herbal notes. Even the peach is kind of subtle. I get the peach. You get the peach? Yeah, for sure I get the peach. Okay, so I did try it with the, the ice chips in there mm. with the not the double the single strain version. And I thought it was kind of fun. Like if you like to chew on little pieces of ice, whatever. You know, whatever. Either way, it's yeah. all good. Do it how you want to make it. I approve, <laughs> I would drink this on a porch on a sweet, sweet summer eve. Maybe just a swing. Chilling. Yeah, maybe on a swing, like a porch swing or whatever. Whatever you guys do in the South, we don't have that luxury here, all right? We're on a fucking alley and Chicago dirty garbage alley with, you know, everywhere and rats and stuff. Let's we'll just drink this and <laughs> think about the beautiful mother nature that you're enjoying. Uh, thank you for watching. Be good to your neighbor. Don't forget to floss. And I will see you next time. Cheers. Goodbye. I lived in the South for a very short amount of time. I lived in Virginia. You did? Where, yep, yep, where yep. in Virginia? Well, uh, I was in Winchester, Virginia for a short period of time, and then I was in Blacksburg, Virginia for school. Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech. Nice. Go Hokies. Go Hokies. Go Hokies. Go Hokies.